Hi there, this is just a uh, quick little uh, getting started um, video which is for the Geeks toy which is just going to run through a few of the uh, basic controls and various other little features in the application. So um, once you've installed the software, just load it up. Um, it just takes a few seconds for the load up uh, window to come up. And just type in your username and password. Then just click on login. It'll come up, logging in. Please wait for whilst it loads. That takes about five seconds or so. So when you very first install the application, you'll um, get the uh, main info bar and the uh, help and useful links uh, window. So on the help and useful links window, it has bas basically in PDF format and the various help sections. This can just be resized like a, a normal window. You just click the corner, so you make it however big you want. Um, and if you scroll down, for example, you start up on the main info uh, introduction page, sorry, and it's got various information there. Um, and in the two little drop-down menus at the top, you've got the getting started. I think it has five sections or so. And if you want to just look at one of the others, you just click on it, and it loads up the uh, information. And in the uh, first drop-down menu, you've got Betfair links. Um, got the forum for the application um, some other useful links and then the other main one that controls most of the information is the control help and as you can see there's various different um, help files so so if you wanted to find out a bit more information about uh, graphs just click on there and it loads it up but anyway we'll shut that now so as you can see you've got the uh, main info bar and the market navigator when you first load up um, You've got various buttons at the top of each header. So you've got roll up, which rolls up that window, and the expand, which expands it. On all of the headers, you'll see this little question mark. If you click that, it'll just bring up the help section, this help and useful links, and it'll bring it up for that specific uh, page. So you just do that again. Clicked on the market navigator one, and it loads up the market navigator help. Um, You've also got uh, the close button, which will close that uh, specific window. So if we close the market navigator, then it brings it, uh, brings up the various other information. But um, it closes that market navigator. To get that back up, you just right click over the header of the main info bar, and go to show stroke hide, and just click on market navigator again. So that's that. Um, you can uh, undock all of the various windows and to achieve that you just right click on the header and you can see it says floating so you just click that and it will bring it here. Um, if you want to re-dock it back into the main info bar just right click on the header and obviously click on dock so what we'll do is just uh, undock it again click on floating. Um, one of the other little buttons that is there is the pin to front you'll see on various other applications. If you click that, it, all it means is it keeps this window at the front. So if we move the main info bar over, you can obviously see the main info bar stays behind and keeps the market navigator at the front. And if you put that over there, it keeps it at the front. Another one of the buttons is, I'll just unpin un uh, that, um, is the minimize button, which is here. So you click that and it just minimizes that specific window. Um, and then just expand it again. Uh, if you double click on the header, it does exactly the same, it just minimizes it and double click again and it expands it. So uh, as you can see, you've got uh, all of the various markets that are currently on Betfair um, displayed in tree format. So if you want to expand the horse racing for today, you just click on that and it expands it. Um, then click on the minus to minimize it. Likewise, say Greyhounds and then you've got all of the others. Um, if you um, mainly trade, say, ho horses or greyhounds or something like that, um, it's a handy little feature. So if you right click on the header of the market navigator, click event types and treat it unselected. And you can see if you click on all markets at the top of that first drop down uh, menu, you've got horses, dogs, cricket matches, soccer, tennis. So you've got the main um, sports there that people trade. So if you go to horses, it will load up the horse race markets for the day. Um, so I'll just quickly change this to all markets. So um, 
you can see there's all of the meetings that are on today. So if you just wanted, I don't know, say the, what have we got today? The Ripper meetings. You just click on the All Meetings box and just go down to Ripper. And it just brings up the Ripper markets. And you can see we've got a winner to be placed with our favourite head to head. Um, but I personally trade all of the uh, UK markets. So I want to go on All Meetings. What we what's uh, built into the toy is a quick little filter. So if you right click on the market navigator, and you can see here there's a quick filter, country display, and market display. So say if you only wanted um, winner markets for all of the meetings, you just click on the winner there. Or if you wanted only say UK markets, you would unselect all of these others. So if we just unselect, and I say South Africa. It, South African meetings aren't shown anymore but um, the easiest way of say just getting up the UK um, winner markets is you just go to the quick filter and go down to GB winner and you can see it just brings up the UK markets uh, to resize one of these windows it's, it's really easy you just uh, click it in the corner where there's this little hatch um, border and you see the cursor changes to um, like diagonal arrows and you can either take it up so it only takes up say that much space on your screen and if there's more information than fits in that uh, window size you currently got you just get your usual uh, scroll bar down the side so you can scroll up and down um, and then to expand it just click it again and you just drag it to say the maximum you want and the application will only ever take up the um, space it actually needs so if we drag it all the way down here you can see there's not enough uh, meet UK meetings on to fill the space so what it does is automatically resize itself to there but if more meetings were added so if we add say the Irish meetings um, to it it expands down and it would keep on expanding until it got to our maximum size and then you'd get the uh, scroll bar like here there you go and also with the you can have tomorrow's meetings etc and say if you wanted to switch to greyhounds you've got the greyhounds you've got all meetings and you just, so you just want romford you've got those there i didn't show you um how to change the size i chose to show you how to change the size uh, vertically but not horizontally so to do it um, horizontally the width of it you just right click in the header and you go to layout and you can have one of a few that one of four there, so ultra slim, which is what I normally have it at, um, or say standard, which is a bit wider, and then you've got list, which is wider still. But we'll just put that back to ultra slim, redock that by right clicking the header, click the dock, it docks the information there, and you can change this by the width of this. You just go to layout again, put it to ultra slim. Um, the application will remember the settings that you have so now next time when I load up it'll always remember I've got this as ultra slim um, if I undock this and say position it here it will remember to uh, when the application next time it loads up it will remember to put the market navigator here or if I want it there it will remember there it will remember all of these settings so if I have it just on um, say if I have a quick filter to GB and Ireland, it will remember that, or if I have it just a GB, which I currently have got, it will remember that. Um, a final couple of little pointers. Um, when we come, if we go to close the application, you just click on the close button on the main info bar, and it will come up with the Are you sure you want to exit the application? Um, some people might want that the confirm shutdown, other people might not. So um, to do that, to get rid of it, you just right click on the header of the toy. You can see here you've got um, confirm application close so you just unselect that and you can see it's greyed out now and um, so now if you go to close the application it will just close instantly but I'll leave that on um, the other one is confirm bets so at the moment I've got it set so if I place a bet um, I have to confirm placement by clicking um, on the relative area um, but some people will just want it so um, your bet goes in instantly so you might want to take off confirm bets so you do that and now you can see that's greyed out which means it's turned off um, but I'll leave that on for now